Whenever you're developing a job, having the ability to debug it can be vital. In Talon Studio, there are two main types of debugging available, Traces and Java. The Java debug ability is based on the Eclipse debugger and is an advanced feature best suited for experienced Java developers. The second method, and the focus of this presentation, is the Traces debug. It doesn't require a deep knowledge of Java, but still allows you to trace the data through the flows. When running a job in Java debug mode, you can set breakpoints for Talent Studio to automatically pause execution when a specific condition is met in the Java code. With Traces debug mode, you can see a row-by-row -row view of data through the flows. You can configure what gets displayed when you set a trace. You can enable or disable it for each flow and specify which columns to display. You can also control execution, using the controls to step forward or back. As an example, we'll start with a simple job already defined in Talon Studio. If we run the job, we can see the output that's generated. But that's it, just the output. With this basic run, we can't see how the data changed in the flow. But if we choose debug run instead, we can see that Talent Studio allows for a traces debug. This time, we'll run the job by clicking the traces debug button. Now the trace windows appear, one for each of the flows. Execution continues automatically with the data for each row displayed sequentially. We can pause the execution by clicking the pause button. Notice how the data changes from flow to flow. In this example, the GUID value has been capitalized. If you want to change the displayed columns, simply double click on the trace that you want to adjust. Let's say we don't want to see the name fields. Uncheck them and click OK. Note that this only changes what's being displayed. It doesn't change the data flow, nor does it change the ultimate output for this job. When you want to continue running the job, click the Resume button. So with these buttons, you can cycle through the rows generated by the job. When finished, click the Kill button to stop running the job. If we want to start running the job and have it pause on the first row, Instead of clicking Traces Debug first, we click Next. Notice it starts running the job, but pauses immediately on the first row. We can use the Next and Previous buttons to cycle through the rows. As before, when finished, click the Kill button to stop running the job.